Hello, welcome to Pelopsia. In the previous class, we had discussed about what is motivation, what is the source of motivation, and the model of motivation. In today's class, we are going to discuss the theories of motivation. For today, we will be discussing about the instinct theory, the drive theory, the drive reduction theory and incentive theory of motivation. In incentive theory, we will be discussing incentive theory, goal setting theory and Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So let's move to the class. The first theory of motivation is instinct theory. Instinct theory gives us an evolutionary approach or an aspect of evolution. So let's start this with an example of a baby. What does a baby do the moment he or she is born? The first thing that he or she does is to cry. So this shows that crying, eating, sleeping is a basic instinct that we show the moment we are born. So this is how we get the theory of instinct. So instinct are natural or inherited tendencies of an organism to make a specific response to certain environmental stimuli without involving any reasons. William James proposed that humans have instincts such as cleanliness, curiosity, parental love, etc. The next theory is drive theory. It began in the early 1920s. In this, the organisms feel tension created by imbalances. It pushes an organism to restore the balance, typically reducing the drive and restoring homeostasis. This theory later became the part of drive production theory. Drives can be divided into primary and secondary. Primary drives refer to the innate drives that result from biological needs, example, hunger, thirst, etc. Secondary drive refer to the learned drives that result from the prior experience and learning. Next is drive reduction theory. This theory was proposed by Hull in the year 1943. It is also known as homeostatic theory. The idea that a physiological need creates an aroused tension state that is a drive that motivates an organism to satisfy the need. Again example is eating and drinking. Let's see the model for drive reduction theory. In order to fulfill this theory, we have a three-step process that takes place. First is need. It can be need for food, water, air or sex. The second stage is drive. Again, it can, to, can be to fulfill the need. The third one is drive reducing behavior that is eating, drinking, etc. The next set of theories that we have is incentive theory of motivation. In this, we will be going through incentive theory, Maslow's theory of hierarchy and goal setting theory. Incentive theory. It was developed by B.F. Skinner. He is a well-known behaviorist who is known for his incentive theory and operant conditioning. This theory explains that behavior is motivated by an organism's desire for reinforcement or pull of external goals such as reward, money and recognition. This theory is also known as reinforcement theory. The next theory is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Maslow has given a comprehensive explanation for the operation of motives in human beings. According to his need hierarchy theory, human needs could be grouped in a hierarchy according to their relative order of their emergency. At the base, there are physiological needs such as need for food, water, oxygen and sleep. When these physiological needs are fulfilled, we get the safety needs such as security and safety. Safety needs and physiological needs together are known as basic needs. Next, we will be seeing the psychological needs that comes after safety needs which is belongingness and love needs. It shows intimate relationships and friends. When we fulfill this stage, we go to the esteem needs that is prestige and feeling of accomplishment. These two needs comes in under psychological needs. When the basic needs and the psychological needs are fulfilled, we reach the self-actualization or self-fulfillment needs. In this, achieving one's potential including creative activities are seen. The last theory under incentive theory is goal setting theory of motivation. It was put forward by Edwin Locke in the 1960s. 
Goal setting theory of motivation states that specific and challenging goals along with appropriate feedback contribute to higher and better task performance. This states that goal setting is essentially linked to task performance. For this, we have a seven sets of principles. They are clarity, challenge, commitment, feedback, task complexity, self-efficiency and goal commitment. So today we have discussed about what is instinct theory, drive theory, drive reduction theory and incentive theory of motivation. Hope to see you soon with the rest of the theories. Keep tuning. Bye.